Mark Unleashed! Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Matt Dimas here, and welcome to episode 7 of the Matt and Mark Unleashed podcast. Good morning, everybody. Jesus How Christ, it's been a while, hasn't it? Oh my god. Has it? When was, uh, the, when was the last goddamn episode? Like, freaking... Um, June 22nd. June. Yep. Oh, okay. Christ cool. almighty. All right, so... I understand um, where we're coming from now. Let's get into right to business and stop beating around the bush and address this freaking elephant in the room right now. Um, a couple of days ago, on the 1st of October, Stephen Paddock shot at the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas on Sunday, local time, on from the, 20, the 32nd floor of the Mendelel Bay Hotel, killing at least 59 people in the largest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. The 64-year-old was hit a security guard and opened fire on over 22,000 people. 500, more than 500 people were injured and 59 are dead. What do you even say to something like that? Like... The dude had several firearms in the hotel. How the hell do you sneak 23 firearms into the hotel? 23? I heard it was 18. Huh. They found 23 firearms in the hotel room and 19 in his home. Ah, that might be the number I'm thinking of. How do you, What do you even say to something like that? And of course you're going to bring up gun control. That's the first thing fucking Hillary Clinton done. She just... Pers- you know, trying to score political points and going after a left-wing agenda. I'm so sick and tired of this shit. When are people going to realize that this stuff is wrong and I'm sick and tired of people dying over no reason? It's ridiculous. Well, we realize that. We've got all the legislation here in the heaven known as Australia. We don't have the ability to just give people guns. We've got a very safe country like that. I appreciate it. Like, the guy had 23 illegal firearms in his house. Well, some were probably legal, but... He modified semi-automatic rifles and turned them into automatic rifles, which is illegal. But you can legally buy semi-automatic rifles, like AR-15s, from gun shops. Yeah, you can legally buy that shit. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, That that is scary. It's uh, it's totally legal for you to buy firearms from private organizations or, you know, personal sellers. And if you're going to a gun show, do you reckon that's totally <laughs> totally normal well, the for weird a thing country? Is, the weird thing is Nevada has a lot of gun shows. So, you know, the hotel probably didn't even bother checking, you know, giving a shit about the guns he had. It was probably like, you know, I just returned from a gun show, blah, 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 and I got all these guns that are right. And they're like, yeah, that's cool, bruh. No, next minute, oh. you know. That almost sounds plausible. This dude is <laughs> this dude is sixty four years old, and, and you know, I his his brother is dumbfounded by this, like he can't believe it. His brother had absolutely no uh, idea that that was even a thing that was uh, possible for this person to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I've seen m- multiple videos of what happened and, like, you know, there was people on top of each other protecting each other, you know, and, um, mm. you know, people were running and people just, <laughs> people just playing, just drop dead on the ground, their brains everywhere, you know, this sort of stuff shouldn't happen. It, feel, it, it felt like a nightmare. I first heard about it, my friend Rinsler, you know Rinsler, dude in my Discord. I remember Rinsler. See, he's like, he he said something is going down in Las Vegas. I'm guessing this is literally te- like a few minutes after the shooting started. And I listened to the police radio, and I managed to get to the, I managed to um, tune in in time for the part where they break into the guy's house. And all I heard was this loud bang when they breached his um, room. Um, I'm guessing they used some sort of explosive to get in, and they found the guy dead in there. So he already killed himself. Um. Oh, he's one of those people. Ah. <laughs> he's one of the people that Doug Stanhope would do stand-up comedy about. Uh, I mean, my God, I cannot believe this. And two thousand. Well, yeah, it's a very unrealistic situation. 2017 is one of the worst years in history. That's a bold statement, I know, but my God. 
My fucking God. <laughs> Donald Trump president, Chester Bennington dying, Chris Cornell, this. I mean, you know, Tom what Petty. What the fuck else could happen? <laughs> but yeah, literally Tom Petty. That was today, too. Oh, um, my God. Something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just... I I, this is unbelievable. I can't believe this shit. Like... Uh, uh, is everything just going is is the universe just saying well fuck you earth you've had enough happy happiness time to completely ruin everything <laughs> you know what I mean like what the fuck it's unbelievable and uh, yeah you just have to at some point tune out completely I'm and trying focus to focus on your own personal I'm, life I'm trying to ignore all this but it's extremely difficult I mean, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a creative guy. I'm a music dude. That's all I do. I, I do audio. I record vocals. I mix songs for Eric. I do this, make beats. And, you know, you get a lot of inspiration from things around you, like whether it be current events or, you know, your personal struggles or whatnot. And I feel like when I, I feel like when something like this happens, I sit here for days listening to the news and whatnot. And, you know, lurk on 4chan. And why? and I think to myself, why am I doing this? Am, am I fascinated by these atrocities or what? Is it is it really that? Or could I just be wanting to... I, I, I just don't know what to say. I mean, you read the YouTube comments like, oh, they're all actors, this is all a false flag, blah, 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 you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. It's absolutely, you know, I, what can I, what can I say? What what the hell can I say that that would that would be the absolute truth? I can't tell people the truth, because the truth is so obscured by lies. You know what I mean? I really, I we, I think we as a people have just completely lost our way. I mean, we 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 question things so much that we are losing touch with reality, and I think that's our main problem. You're talking about mostly you, aren't you? You're. <laughs> I'm thinking about you losing in touch with reality. No, I absolutely um, despise conspiracy theorists and whatnot. Oh, yeah, at some point I feel like they might not believe it themselves. Mm. What was the one that I posted? Uh, this, uh, that lovely little golden nugget that the, the people in uh, Las Vegas were paid by Red Cross, which is a company with a large amount of donations going to quote-unquote administrative overhead fees who create events like this to receive a flood of donations from people pledging support of the quote-unquote victims wow you they read... <laughs> even had a spot on jimmy kimmel's show wow you read that like a freaking um advertisement guy that's like you can get these yeah. new crispy 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 that's because chips. i am a <laughs> fake advertisement guy i don't actually exist i mean you know oh, we could Jesus. sometimes i feel like you know comedy is a good cure for you know sadness but i feel like it's too soon for that honestly i mean um Oh, uh, no. It's it, not. It, it's never too soon. <laughs> you can always find something to joke about. I mean, I guess it's better than being sad. I mean... What was on the top of uh, Jesus Christ Reddit? There was a, there was a thread of, uh, you know, one of the shots on Instagram of, um, you know, the ground floor of the guy shooting out at the at the people. And, and the top comment on Jesus Christ Reddit was, um, hey, everyone, free shots. Because <laughs> you get a, you get a oh, Vegas to drink. Oh my god. It feels this is bad to laugh at. It's unbelievable. It feels bad to laugh at. <laughs> oh dear god. Should we tune on to something else? It's almost been fifteen oh, minutes um, on uh, on this. <laughs> let's let's go to Audio Slave. Mm. Soundgarden? No. Lincoln but no. This is unbelievable. What's a fun topic? Let's alternate from sad to shit. It's really not possible at this point. I really feel like nothing's going right right now. Um, I mean, you know, I can, I, I'll live, I'll live to fight another day. But right now, I feel like the world has just, you know, we we kind of stopped. We we've kind of turned our heads and just looked in one direction right now. Um, they're they're trying to they're trying to seek a motive for this guy's actions. They've yet to find a motive, um, like at all. Mm. The guy, this is what we know right now. Out of no, okay, so fifty nine killed, five hundred twenty six injured in Las in Las Vegas shooting. The 
the most deadliest mass shooting in modern US history. Whenever I hear someone say that, it sends a chill down my spine. Like, I was listening to the stream last night and I heard him say the worst, the deadliest shoot, mass shooting in modern US history. I woke up to that and I, uh, and I my blood ran cold. It was, so, it was such a terrifying thing to hear. And I'm not even American, I'm fucking Australian. So it gives you an idea about, you know, what the, how, how absolutely awful this is. Um, it's just insanity. It's despicable. It's just absolute evil. I mean, I wouldn't wish this on my enemies. I wouldn't want anyone to get pierced by a bullet like that. Um, like, you know, I... You know, what do you, how do you be positive at a time like this? I mean, I'm not trying to sound like a fucking prick, you know? I mean, what, how do you react to something like this? As a person, around the, all the people around the world are turning around looking at this. Um, and just completely forgetting about what they're doing. What, what does that say? You know, something is terribly wrong. That's no, the, we're that's not forgetting. We don't forget about this sort of thing. <sighs> we learn. Hopefully, I, this hopefully is... the right people will learn from it. But we try not to show that we have a sense of emotion to the people who want us to feel sadness and to you know feel this level of despair. We hold our chin up. It's a real blokey thing to say, isn't it? But we try not to show that level of weakness. We don't do that. Uh, yeah, I... we're men. <laughs> I'll let you speak for a minute, Mark. Well, what else do you want to say? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we've been on this topic for the last 17 minutes now, so we could probably uh, switch over to something a little... I mean, what about... We haven't talked about Chester Bennington on any podcast yet, so... Mm. Grew up with his oh, music, yeah. met him a couple of times, great guy. You know, what do you mm. say? Like, it's... You know what's really scary? It really chilling? Um mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. did that podcast about Chester Bennington, like, in June. That was one month before he killed himself. There was a guy on YouTube who did an interview with them a few months beforehand, and he was almost in exactly the same situation. He was a die-hard fanboy of, of Linkin Park, and uh, he has a video. I'll try posting it up. Um, I'll write down a note and mention it. We can add I mean, it to the podcast's <sighs> description. In the I, link below! I, yep. I just don't even know anymore. Mr. Bennington, meet Two, up guy. 2007 is the worst year in, ever. I mean, I can say 2007. that. That That is uh, 2017. <laughs> oh. 2017, oh. I'm sorry. I mean, it's one of the worst years. Okay, it's probably not the worst year in history, but it's definitely up there. I mean, Donald Trump being the president, Chester Bennington <laughs> dying, Chris Cornell dying, you know, mass shootings happening everywhere, the Charlottesville riots... You know, what can I say? <laughs> Didn't mention any of the natural disasters and... In... Oh, the freak! Yes, the hurricanes! <laughs> there was like three hurricanes! Like, this is almost Before? comical at this moment. Like, what the fuck is going on? I don't get it. The yeah, planet's just giving up at this point. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, All the conspiracy theorists mm. are going batshit insane over this. You know, oh, th yeah. that doesn't help either. But you know what this proves, though, right? <laughs> this proves that the Earth is flat. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I mean, what else? Oh, how, how my else could it... God. Just the, no. the, the universe is trying to distract you from oh, the fact that God. the Earth isn't actually round. <laughs> with oh all of these fucking God. weird disasters that keep happening, you know? This is, this is just... You know what I mean? This is unbelievable. Yeah, we talked about Chester on the 9th of June. And then on the 1st of July, I did a remix of the Linkin Park song, Lost in the Echo. It's on my band camp, you guys want to check it out. And literally 20 days later, 20 days later, he's gone. Just like that. Gone. I think the one thing that really sort of uh, I was most reactive to was the fact that all of the songs that they have produced, they mostly have Chester doing singing and then Mike doing the rapping. But the fact that Chester would sing those lyrics, you go back to like Minutes to Midnight and it's all about... It's it's a very, very dark place that they go to with their lyrics. Now that you know that this person has been suffering from 
this level of depression for pretty much all of his life, and it probably has something to do with his drug addictions. Um, I think it's meth, is it? Meth. We'll call it meth. We'll assume it's meth. But um, <laughs> you don't take it seriously when you've released that album 10 years ago, and heck, even Meteora and Hybrid Theory sort of go in the same vein. And then he releases this, oh, it's another one of those albums where he talks about his emotional distress. Oh, he meant it this time. Oh, okay. You know, <laughs> it's a bit eerie to I had, listen to I, the other I, I really, now. Yeah, it, like, I really liked One More Light. I mean, I didn't like it as much as his, the more metal album from previously. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I, I didn't like it as much as The Hunting Party, but I thought it was a nice um, simmer down. I just I go back to the hunting party. I never really listened to it. That album is incredible. I mean, that's one of my favorite Linkin Park records. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Abs- absolute madness. Great guitar work. Great drumming. Um, good timing. It sounds like it sounds like an actual metal record. Like it doesn't sound like like new metal. It's like actual you know heavy metal kind of music. Um, it's 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 sort of like a mixture of Linkin Park mixed with like Metallica, Slayer, and all these other bands, punk bands. It's just a slew of heaviness, and I like that. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a bit of yeah. everything. Um, one of my favorite songs would have to be. Uh, hang, on, let me just check the track list so I can remember. Uh, it's the one after Rebellion. I really like Rebellion, by the way. It's, it's fucking amazing. Um, I have to pull it up. What was it? Hunting Party. Yeah, the, the, party the album? yeah, the hunting party, and rebellion. Oh, I've got to wait for my drive to spin up to see Jesus the listing. Jesus Christ! Things. Don't I'm you have a seventy-two thousand RPM? <laughs> yeah, no, it came up. Uh, Mark the Graves was after rebellion. Yeah, Mark the Graves has um, that sort of sound to it, where it's like, yeah, fuck yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, um, <laughs> this is the most stoner thing I've ever heard you say. Like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> you know, like. It's got that ring to it. It's got that sound. It's like, yeah. Um, like the start of it, it's like down, now, 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 down, now, 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 now. It's fucking awesome. I love that. Like it's like yes. It's like Beavis and Butthead just going yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's pretty. Yes, righteous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when that Sorry. riff kicks Surf in at 20, slash, 29 seconds, that's where it's like fuck yeah. Down now now now, down now 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 like that you know, and then the drum work starts to get a little bit more hectic like, the drum work, the drum yeah the drum drum sounds like a bass line (laughs) and then it just turns into like a (laughs) and the drumming speeds up a bit and then all of a sudden it's like, um, big pause in that one minute. Such a great riff. I love that. I was walking home one day and this song came on and that part played and I'm like, fuck yeah, what the fuck, man? This is awesome. <laughs> um, I'm like, this is Linkin Park? I'm like, fucking hell, dude. I was really impressed. I mean, you know, of course, Hybrid Fury and Media Aura are far superior records when it comes to Linkin Park records, if you know what I mean. But you got to appreciate. I mentioned it before. You got to say it again. Reanimation, best album ever. You got you got to appreciate the Hunting Party's um, musicmanship. I mean, this is probably their most tightest uh, record when it comes to technica- technical um, aspects of composition. Um, the way they well, they know what they're doing, yeah. The way they're recording things, it just sounds so clean, so flat. There's no harshness. It's like really nice and flat. Um, every, everything just sounds neutral. I like that about music. I don't like it when shit sounds like this and whatnot. Um, we could do the podcast like that. Oh hey, yeah, I we have did. A, uh, <laughs> frequency thing though that I can use to make myself sound like that if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer a more neutral sound because. The new mic I'll be getting soon is the Rode NT1, and that has a much platter sound than this mic, so you most you most likely won't hear the high pitch anymore like that, you know. Um, hmm. My voice, my a... my voice will sound a little <laughs> bit like this, just a little bit muffled, and that's what I want to go for with my podcast voice. Um, yeah, get that's like, a good sound. Oh Jesus Christ, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> Those scoop mids though. Yeah. No meds, oh all the gain. <laughs> Gains. Yeah. 
Oh wait, that almost sounded homophobic. <laughs> don't don't take that out of context. Gay. Do I sound normal again? I can't hear me. I can't monitor for it. <laughs> you should do a low cut on your voice. Or go, no, 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 don't. I do. Don't. No, I do. I Actually, have a low cut already. No, don't do it. Um, turn it I can off. turn it off. Oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, hey, there's a bypass button. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't quite work wait, the way you I have, thought it would. Wait, you have, cut, you have um, cuts on your microphone? I thought you had a shitty USB Audio Technica mic that no one's ever heard of. <laughs> I do, but I use uh, Pedalboard 2 with a couple of plugins that uh, cut off the bass. What, what is your mic called? The 1200? AT1200? So I thought it was the Audio Technica AT2500, but I, since then I've learned that there's a, a, an R in there as well. Oh, an wait, ATR2500. No. They, they changed the model name. I guess the R stands for. It's the R. It's the hard R when you say the N word. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mark, Mark with the racist jokes yet again. Dress, <laughs> dressed to impress. Oh I'm my god. Stay racist god. to be funny. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, I'm uh, okay. okay. Um, so we, well, on an uplifting note, should we bring up another really fun story? Yeah, uh, Hugh Hefner died. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the Godfather of Porn is dead. Um, hmm. He died a little while ago. I'm not sure what date. Um, what they, date? Uh, when is it? About five days ago. Yeah, something like that. Um, on uh, the 27th um, of September. You know, um, he died in yes. Playboy Mansion, like literally. That's our twenty eighth. Um, a legendary <laughs> person, but also very. He strange. was into the Mad Puss. What? He's very strange, very strange man. Uh, but yes, that's what I was gonna say. Um, he's definitely he's definitely he was definitely a character. Um, no doubt about that. No question. He was old. Yeah. <laughs> I like saying things that don't that aren't actually offensive, but they definitely sound offensive. <laughs> good, good way to go about I, it. I I really don't do not know much about the Playboy thing. Like I really didn't pay much attention to it. I'm guessing he was just a glorified pimp. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Yes, he was, and he just had a bunch of random girls in his mansion living there, and he like made money out of making porn with them or whatever. Is that? Oh, is that what he did? Is that pretty much what happened? I got no idea. I'm just assuming I, that. <laughs> No, I assume that the uh, she they were all all the girls were just doing his taxes because of all the money laundering <laughs> and pit bull fighting rings and um, oh my god, what else is illegal that we can? No. <laughs> that's bad taste, Mark. Yeah, I know that's why I said it. Mm. Oh no, on to something else. <laughs> I gotta. Oh man, this is a. Uh, he was definitely something. Love him, I hate him. Yeah. I, I don't actually know what he sounds like. I've never heard his voice I'm currently before. listening to the Fort Minor song, Remember the Name, and it sounds great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you like, hear that last one? They they came out with a new one recently in VR. I think Mike Shinoda should keep rapping. He has a great rap voice. Underrated. Very underrated. Um, hmm. Did you just literally Google for Fort Minor on YouTube and no, it, the it, first result? No, the, what it is. no, the video came up after the um, Hunting Party song. Uh, Mark the Grave song. Wait, I got oh, okay. I got autoplay on, so... Um, it's funny, because that also comes up as the first result on Google when you Google yeah, the Fort Minor. Well, you know, it's got a high <laughs> rank on YouTube, so, you know, that happens. Um, there was a... Uh, he released a new album... Uh, he released a new single called Welcome. I'd love to know what the album is. That was two years ago! I felt like yeah. a few months ago. What the fuck? Yeah, time freaking goes by, Jesus. like... Like a Christ. like a cunt, like a real cunt, like a like a hard C cunt. He's a fucking right cunt. Actually, I think it's more offensive oh, if man. you say a hard T cunt. <laughs> cunt. Mm. Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. nice. It's nice to be able to still be able to have a laugh, but I still cannot help but think about everything that's been going on recently. Um, uh, I have had an actual good story. <laughs> the king of uh, Saudi Arabia, King Salman, orders driving licenses for women. Well done. 
Must be a great time to be a Saudi driving instructor. Mm. <laughs> anyway. That was captivating. Anyway, moving yes. on, let's talk about depressing shit again. Um, okay. Actually, uh, there's been... On, let me pull it up. Actually, <laughs> there's really been no new developments with the shooting. They're just trying to find a motive now, I guess. Um... They have a lot of information already. It's only been like a day, and they already have a bunch of info. It's crazy. This is this is what I love about the internet, but also seeing all these conspiracy theorists just spouting their nonsense on YouTube and whatnot. That's what I hate about the internet. <laughs> mm. Um, you know, you see all of the acts of opinions. Mm. Christ, yeah. I'm trying to find the uh, oh Atlanta. Atlanta passes marijuana. Yay. Woohoo. Mm. Trying to lighten the mood. Trying to wow. <laughs> stay away from all oh, the wait, shootings. Hang on, hang on, breaking news. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the death toll for the um, shooting is still 59, so that's good. So he hasn't it, shot anymore? He hasn't... No, no more have died, so... Um, <laughs> After he shot himself? He hasn't um, shot anymore? <laughs> I don't know if I could take any more deaths than that. That's already pretty devastating. So the reporters are just mm. talking about what's been going... Stuff we've already heard like a billion times before now, so I'll just shut the stream off. Um, ah, it's that 24-7 news that... Yeah, it's it's, it's the awesome. um, Fox News stream. Yeah, out of all freaking st- ah, <laughs> channels, I watch one. Fox. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's the one that makes you depressed. That's the one. So that Democrats hurts the most. rush for gun control after shooting. Yeah, of course. Um, y- you know. Okay, here we go. Google admits citing 4chan to spread fake Vegas shooter news. That was on Ars Technica. Yeah, that happened. Um, wh- while it was happening, a lot of people were saying the Black Lives Matter member was doing it, and then Tifa did it. Um, some people said there was even a plane hijacked. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that, it really. Wait, it's just it's completely a sh- wrong. It's a shit, <laughs> a complete shit show. I didn't know what to believe. All I knew, uh, when, when this first happened, they said there was three shooters. And you know what, so they said all three shooters were Asian. And the first thing that came to me and my friend Nick's mind was that this was retaliation from North Korea. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, that's Sorry. that's the first thing I thought. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> is this seriously happening? And I thought something, some major shit was going to go down, but um, this is all that happened is just some dude... The, a lot of people got shot, and there was no plane and nothing. No. Um, so on the Ars Technica article, there was a Google News statement that claimed that false reports landed on the top stories feed due to a burst of activity from, you know, crawling the search results as they do, or crawling the web as they do. And fresh 4chan stories were broken. It, was, it, it triggered their top stories feature, which led to a ton of inaccurate results. <laughs> Okay, so there's another photo of Steven Paddock, and he looks like Trevor from GTA 5. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, the resemblance is actually really scary. Except he doesn't have our eyebrows. <laughs> by the looks of it. <laughs> was it Rain Your Love Down? I can't remember what This is an was. older picture of him, I think. I'll find it. Stevie Wonder thing. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. There we go. <sighs> Sorry to be such a damper, guys, but yeah. Um, thanks for tuning Wanna- in. If you're still with us, I doubt you are because we've been real. I've been really depressing, I should say. But um, we sometimes we're gonna face reality. Um, some things have to change. Yeah, yeah. Do some, do some talking, Mark. I've had enough talking. Oh, cool. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I had like a portion of the show to myself. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> In the spotlight now. Oh, I don't want to oh. hog you. Uh, I won't be a good host if I do that. No. Oh, no. Oh, thank a, you, buddy. I'm not a good host anyway. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, bro. Oh no, it's yeah, uh, it's yeah. I mean, you could always edit it to make yourself look good, but. <laughs> mm. Oh. 
Uh, there's an article from, what was it, The Atlantic? Yeah, talking about how um, there were scientists that put slime mold into a model of a map of Tokyo and with uh, food representing the urban centers after a day it created a network, like a single-celled network, <laughs> almost <laughs> identical to Tokyo's actual rail network. So the human designers created a network that was to be as efficient as possible. The slime mold did the same, except it didn't have a brain. <laughs> Oh like my that. god. Oh hey, and there's even a there's a YouTube video of that one. Let's pull that one in into the description below. I don't know. I guess it'll go there. <laughs> and bring uh, it up on my end, I'll try to record it with uh, OBS. On your oh, okay, yeah, sure thing. It's, Actually no, uh, I'll probably get copyright strike to fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way. I mean I'll give it a try. If I get copyright cool. slammed, I'm probably just gonna not gonna use any footage. <laughs> Okay. It's most likely <laughs> going to happen. You know how easy it is to get content ID'd now? I don't know. Even it's, if you're um, recording, like, news sites. <laughs> like, if you just... Oh, wow. Yeah. That's no, stupid. I know. That should go under freedom of information. <laughs> Gee. Um, and then there was... Uh, oh, if you're going to play that at the same time, we can talk about this article. There was the... Uh, the article from CDC.gov back in 2015 that just caught the limelight in uh, Reddit... Mm. Uh, today I learned uh, what was the title the CDC has urged schools open later because two thirds of teenagers are suffering from chronic sleep deprivation <laughs> they start school at 8.30 no some of them 7.30 wow 7.40 oh my god that reminds me of that thing Lewis Black said like I went to school and I taught economics at 8 o'clock in the fucking morning but and I, and so I said, you can learn through one bloodshot eye. <laughs> yeah, I said, you guys trying to keep this a secret? Because <laughs> there's always so much I can learn from one bloodshot eye. <laughs> <laughs> the largest percentage of schools, 29.9%, open before 7.30. Fuck off. Mm. That's, oh my god. In Louisiana, of course. Yeah, of course. Wow. I thought it was kind of stupid me having to pick up a bus at 7.30, <laughs> but at least I could sleep on it. The asshole behind me wasn't kicking it. Anyway. Um, so that's all I got. We've, we're 59 minutes into the show. And we've just talked about nothing but devastation and just random memes. That sounds about right. You ready to wrap it up? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. it's. I feel like it's been a pretty good show. <laughs> Do we, <laughs> do we leave it on that or do we yeah well, a I, real think, downer? I, I think we're good um okay. <laughs> all right guys uh thanks for tuning in i'm matt dimas and he's mark lee oh dude you don't have to just fuck off just end it <laughs> fucking sh- press stop you <laughs> asshole all right guys um thanks for joining us and as per usual have yourselves a good night and take care Thank <laughs> you.